Hello everyone, this is Becky at Antbax Creations. And my light is caught on my ironing board. Okay, well that's as good as it's going to get because I can't move it right now. And Amazon is pulled up in front of the house, so we're going to keep going. Howard, just go that way, honey. Good morning, everyone. I'm just going to do some um, watercolor cards real quick for Mother's Day, last minute. Um, and I thought I'd just come on and show you how I was doing them. So the first thing I'm going to do, just kind of make some random circleage here on the cards. Just some random circles. Whoop, well, I guess we'll go there with it. I was wanting to go higher on the page, but that's all right. All right. They were going to be very different cards. <laughs> and then I'm just going to um, pick up some different colors. I just see if I can see where I put the circles. And just pop some, a little bit of color on them, just randomly. And I do have them taped to the table. Hi, Janet. Hi, Angie. Oh, I guess I didn't pick up any. Here we go. These are just going to be some random watercolor spots to put, to turn into flowers with doodles. And I wanted some blue in there, but it'll probably turn brown, but let's see. Let's pick up some of this and just drop it in some different places. I just wanted these to be fun little quirky flowers. See if I can draw this around. And maybe some of this other blue dropped on. I hope everybody else is having a, a good Mother's Day. I have a, a whole different perspective on Mother's Day than most people. And uh, I'll leave it at that. Now I'm going to drop some kosher salt in the flowers. These are really fat pieces of salt. Well, it doesn't matter, Angie. <laughs> I'm a mother and it doesn't mean anything really because uh, I don't I don't really get much out of it. <laughs> Put it that way. Uh, Greg's not big on the whole Mother's Day gift thing. But I'll make cards for the two mothers. My mom and it'll be late getting to her, but she'll be all right with that.
I know they look pretty loud right now, but as they dry, they lighten up a little bit. I think I want some of this dropped here and there. Just for a splattery background. And I think I'd like a little green in the background, so I'm going to wet some of this green over here. I don't care if it gets in the flowers too because that will be fine. And where it's really wet, I think I'm going to get a piece of paper toweling. Kind of scoop it up. Hi, Gail. Hope. Yep, fur babies count as mama, mama's kids too. Mine have been giving me extra loving today. Isn't it amazing how your animals understand when your heart's heavy? They know before anybody around you knows. I'm just trying to sock, soak up some of the excess so I'm not here all day waiting for it to dry. I might even be bad and use my dryer even though you don't get the same result if you know as you do when you just wait let's scoop up some of this here it's a lot of water on there that and get another little piece. Hi Brenda. Good morning. It is still morning for a little bit longer. Sorry for the litter box activity in the background. Somebody's digging the china. But it's what they do, right? They do the do. All right, I'm going to leave those to dry a little bit, and I'll look and see if anything's in chat. We'll let them dry a little bit on their own, and uh, then I'll get the heat done after them. I'm going to set this aside, the very messy palette, to dry. I could um, put some leaves on there, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to, we're going to leave it go. I'm going to move this stuff off my chair. I just keep moving the fabric from my, the chair I sit at, at my work table to the chair I sit at when my, I can't sleep in the bed. <laughs> I need to get it cut out and made into stuff and then it won't be in the way, right? So is anybody doing anything extra special today? Yeah, I think some of those colors are Daniel Smith colors that I got at the thrift store. So one of these is going to be a whole lot brighter than the other, but that's okay. Got the crazy cat behind me. But my idea is to just let them dry a little bit, and then I'll dry them some more with the, the heat gun, and then um, I'll uh, do some doodling on them. I just miss my grandmother on Mother's Day. She was my real mom. Uh, you know, she's the one that raised me, and she's the one I always want to call, and you can't, you know? You're just resting today. I did that yesterday because the day before I way overdid in the yard, way over. And I was in so much pain that that night 
couldn't sleep, even with Tylenol. And I was up and down all night. And it was just a bad night. And last night, I slept. Once I got in the bed, I didn't move. I don't even remember doing any trips to the restroom during the night, which I usually do a couple of those. Yep. My grandma died in 1992. And, you know, I was a young mother then. And I don't know. I wish I'd, I wish I'd called her more often back then. Now it's so hard for me to talk on the phone that I don't like phone calls anymore. I, my arm goes to sleep and it's, Something to do with that nerve issue in my back, which I never did find out exactly what was going on with that. So I just don't talk on the phone. I can write a letter or type a letter or whatever easier than I can, you know, talking on the phone. Morning, Kathy. I've been enjoying Kathy's gardening little videos on Facebook and her pictures Scott thinks it's funny you have a cat named Greg, too. <laughs> Howard's sitting here with me. He says, Mom needs me today. And I love all of your gardens. They're so beautiful. I need to get up off my lazy butt and work in mine. I, I For some reason, I have just lost my... My garden queen ability, I guess. I don't know. I used to love to get out in the yard and work and work and work, but now it, I hurt so bad. Hi, Sherry. Good morning. We're going to have some odd looking flowers here, but that'll be all right. I'm going to hit them with a the heat gun, even though you get a better result if you just wait. We ain't got all day. Let's see what happens. The salt will probably blow off. Oh, I didn't say heat gun alert. I do want to kind of get to the doodle bit. got in a package of gel um, black gel pens and for um, our anniversary Scott got me the bias tape making um, devices because they were a whole lot cheaper on Amazon than they are at you know Joann's or anywhere like that Oh, they were from Wawa. I'm sorry. Yep. We're doing heat gun alert. Something was dropped on the front porch. It's probably parts for Greg's car. Salt's bubbling. Uh oh, tape's coming up. Guess it's too hot for my masking tape. I like to put the masking tape on because you get a nice crisp border. <sighs> Let's see. Is it for Greg? It's for you. It's for me. Shall I unbox it? Me. Sure. Scott's doing an unboxing for us. Ooh, this is oh, this Oh, awesome. That'll be great. It, it's going to be 96 degrees out there. Who's it from? What, what is it? I thought I got it. 
Jeff Bezos. Yeah. It's a tripod selfie stick. No card or anything? Nothing. I don't know. It Maybe just. Him. Maybe him. I don't know. Well, thank you. If one of y'all sent that to me, or I, I thank you. <laughs> yeah. There's no um, gift tag in there. Okay. Well, thank you. That was a fun little surprise. Cool. We'll have to give it a go the next time we're out and about. Maybe somebody watched my video and, and saw that I was talking about having a, a, a boom or whatever, a stick in that video. I would really like to let this salt dry. That was a very... Very nice surprise. So I don't know who sent it. There's nothing in there. It says it has a remote and it'll rotate 360 degrees. And it's to use with your phone. So thank you guys very much. All right, I'm going to just brush, mm, I'll dab it and get the last of the moisture up, maybe. The cells look better if you let this dry on the watercolor. I'll just press and get maybe the last of the moisture. What an attention hound. What did you see, Tip? He's a spoiled rotten wretch. Oh, you'd get that squirrel if you could, couldn't, wouldn't you? Oh, it's Lars. The neighbor's cat, Lars, is coming through. Tippy. <laughs> <laughs> Tippy just went by in case you missed it. <laughs> they don't like Lars. All right, let's brush it off. I got a little bit of cells there. Get the trash over here so I don't end up with salt dots somewhere else. I got some interesting color. And I was thinking I'd doodle just with a Sharpie today. I don't like to see raccoons during the daytime. Did you see one? I didn't, but Gail said they saw one in their backyard yesterday afternoon. To me, anytime you see a possum or a raccoon during the daytime, it's not a good thing. It usually means they're sick. Or rabbit. It is sick. But, and I agree, they can get vicious. Especially with dogs, and you have your sweet little dog. So I hope, yeah, I hope it it does come back around. All right, so let's just, I guess, do some stones. Of sorts.
I believe Callie is ready to come in. These might not be the greatest because I'm really not in a, I'm not really in a good headspace today. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. That didn't need to be there. We'll copy it over here. It'll be a random, very random bouquet. Yeah, one yeah. They they are pretty agile raccoons. That would make me nervous too, Gail. Um there's um so many people been griping about you know different things here in our neighborhood and it's like Just worry about your own yard <laughs> and keep your cats in if you're worried about them getting hurt and spay and neuter. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> We've got so many loose, feral cats. What's bad is that it just keeps going on and on and on. Oh my God, Tippy, really give it a rest. Well, it sounds like Kathy's got a full day with her kids and family. Well, that's good. I got a note from my stepfather to call my mom. So I guess I'll do that in a little bit. She called the other day when I was out in the yard and my dad didn't call back. I always worry people think I'm heartless or what something, but there's a long story behind it all, and I do the best I can.
I'm going to add some white to this too with the Posca pen. Well, that one's pretty doodly. Maybe we'll do a doodle leaf. Instead of a painty leaf, just have a doodly leaf off to the side here. <coughs> we'll fill in some other area here. That kind of fills it up. Uh, we'll just have a leaf come up from the bottom. Maybe one in from this way. So it looks like these are like in a huge bouquet or something. <coughs> yeah, I think I want to do something with white as well. Tippy, behave. Let me get this white puzzle. You like the doodly leaf? Good morning, Natty. Happy Mother's Day. And happy Mother's Day to Susie. I think this one's about dried out. It's not as juicy. It doesn't it doesn't plop out like it used to. Tippy, stop. He's pulling on the tabs of that box to annoy me. Can you tell it's working? <laughs> oh my goodness, this cat. He's something else. I'll mail him to you, to you, Natty. You can you can have him. I agree with Barb sometimes. Sometimes they get to be a little much. Yeah, I kind of like the added white little bits. I hope everybody's having a good day. And I think I will just go along my tape edge here. Oh, no, I better not do that. Let me stand up. The good news is when you go off the tape, then the, the mark is just on the tape. It's not on your project. Because you're going to pull a tape up. Tippy, stop. Nitty said to be good. All right. We'll pull that up in a little bit. Oh, what am I stuck on? Uh oh. I think I do wheelies in my chair too much. It's not wanting to move now. Get some more color on here. Yeah, they've been out on the catio, but now 
all the neighbors are getting up and moving around. And they really do not like children. I, the, yesterday, I was resting in the recliner and Scott came in and he said, did you hear them? Because Callie and Howard came in from the porch because we had the, the door just propped open so they could go in and out. And they came in because the little boy next door was outside. They don't like kids <laughs> at all. Still a little salt on this one. I can feel it with the pen. Greg went with his friends down to Garden City, um, South Carolina, to the beach yesterday. So he had fun with his friends. Making sure I'm not moving black around with my with my marker. Ugh. Yep, honey, go do something out. <sighs> Tippy used to roam and roam. Do y'all remember when he'd go missing for days in Greenville? So yeah, he gets he gets pretty bored sometimes, but I'm not going to let them out to be a nuisance to my neighbors. Tippy, stop. Stop. <laughs> Cat, you're really driving me bananas. I 
I know y'all didn't come to watch me fuss at the cat. But it happens. Because he's rotten. Mm -mm. Go that way. Sorry. Scott was watching Little Rascals last night or the night before. And I said, I see, um, Anne's going to be doing something in honor of Joey DeFee. So if you haven't watched... Joey DeFee's latest video. I guess we need to all go watch that so we know what Ann's going to be doing later. Kind of like the second line on the leaves. And then I'll, I'll print off Happy Mother's Day and tape it up here. So again, I need to stand up to do this part. And then I'll do the reveal of what they look like when you do this like this. Oh, and I want to add a little white to this one too. No tip, no. Let me get my paint pen back. Aw, thanks, Nettie. They're just goofy, playful cards. I will probably have to, um, make card bases because I think I cut these to cover the full front of a card and I want a border on them. So let's pull this one away and do the ta-da. And I forgot to remove some of the stickum on my arm so I need to move extra slow and make sure I'm not pulling up watercolor paper. that one. Yeah, I usually will stick them on my arm and pull it off just to get some of the stick them off. I prefer the blue tape, but this is what I have. So I'm using, I'm using what I have. The only reason I bought the black glaze pens is so I can do mandalas again because I really like the finish those give to bring your main lines back out and Scott said they they look cool they give dimension
I have a rubber stamp that says Happy Mother's Day I could use. So there's that one. We'll turn it around so you guys can see it. I meant to do these a couple days ago, but got a little bit of something pink there, but we're going to go with it. It must have picked something up from the background or something. Kind of odd the way it did. need to sign them and date them, right? And this is five... 142023. I guess this one I'll have to sign on this other side. And then I need to know how big are these? They are five and a half, four and a quarter. So I need I need to cut some mats a quarter inch bigger than that because I like to put an eighth of an inch bigger all the way around. So that's a quarter inch total. So, oh, if I cut a sheet of black, whoa, that's the, that's not what I thought I had. So these will be cut at four and a half. And then, what did I say? How tall was it? by five and a half, so five and three quarters. So I'll have to get another piece of paper out. I should have cut them the other way and then I could have got both pieces out of that, but this will get saved for mandalas or something else. So then I'll just set this on this. And I just think that makes any, any art that you do looks professional if you, um, if you go ahead and you put it on black my dishwasher saying it's done. It says I'm done, I'm done. So if we cut this at the five and three quarters, then I can do the four and a half a couple times this other way. So there. And I'll cut another one at four and a half. So I'll have another another mat that's ready for another watercolor card and I'll stick it with that watercolor pad so I know that that's what that goes to. And the rest of these black pieces, I just kind of sit right here under the desk so that I can uh, use them. And then I want, um, I thought, the Nia whatever, blah -de blah under here. And I'll just cut one, two, two. And I can't just cut them in half because they need to be bigger than this now. So they need to run six inches tall. 
six inches tall. So if I, yeah, if I cut them this way at six inches, and then this mat was, so five and five, so I need to cut this at 10. at 10. Got some scrappies for later. And then I'll score it five inches. And all I have to do is add the sentiment. Let me grab some double, double-sided double tape and we'll put these together and then I'll say I'm done. Always finding the beginning is the hardest part of the whole task. And these were done on watercolor paper. I just decided to come on live to do this and uh, not sure we got to go see Scott's mom we, all of us decided it, it would not be a good thing to go out to eat anywhere because it'll just be packed everywhere will be packed I might use painty paper for an envelope and um, make colorful envelopes for these. Did I do everything that I needed to do? It's not really necessary to do the one in the middle, but I don't want my card to fall apart in the mail. <laughs> so I'm an um, excessive tape user. Of course, I'll be hand delivering Scott's mom, so that doesn't matter. I take the one in the middle all the way off, and then the ones on the outer edge, I just take a little bit down. Gives me a little bit extra work time to get it where I want it. And I just eyeball. And most of the time, it gets it's pretty close.
see doodles. It looks like I'm a little off on sizing. I'm going to go with it. We're just going to go with it and try to get it even. It's a little wider than it needed to be. But I think that looks pretty like that. So there's one card. Oh man, I've been on about an hour already. Goodness, I didn't want to be on that long. It always takes longer than I think it's going to. That's okay. Two cards in an hour. That's not too bad. If I have everything made, you know, all the paintings done and all that, I could make a whole stack of cards in an hour. But the artwork part of it takes a little longer than most people think it will. Hi, Safia. How are you? I hope your mother, your y'all had your Mother's Day earlier in the year over in UK, if I remember right. So these were just some quick little fun watercolor cards for Mother's Day. And... Um, You could do little watercolor birds or whatever, but I thought flowers could be fun. So there's my two cards, and I signed and dated them and everything. So I want to thank you guys for stopping in and hanging with me for an hour of your precious time. Yep, just another Sunday there. Well, it's really just another Sunday here. Um, my son's not real big on the whole thing. All right, guys, have a great day. Oh, good luck to your daughter with her exams. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I'll talk to you later. Bye.